Hopefully that only happens once. Oh, baby Peach, get out of here. Like, why did you get a green shell? Why, why did you get Oh, the, the reflect. Awesome. Yeah, like. Ugh. Yeah, like there are pe there are people out there that know about speed running, but they just don't know about a game. Like they just know about the definition of speed running, but they just don't know the, the mechanics of a video game and all that stuff. And I and I I don't care. At least they know speed running. Alright, that was that was pretty good. Good list, like even though you have something to know about about the game, so so there's something to talk about from the couch. Then you'll get family friends to, to support you, and then you would just get something that knows something. Because because there is at least that one guy who learns something. That just reminds me back in the early days of Eddie the There's always these guys on the couch that haven't even played the game before. Like uh, so, Glenn may get some support Eddie the 2013 when he did. On 20, there was players like Cosmo, Trihex, Lee, and they never played the game until Cosmo uh, later that year deci decided to play play the game himself after watching hundreds and hundreds of runs from Sublimic, and he got four hours. <laughs> so, and the t and he titled the video on YouTube "I'm Not Sublimic." So, um, it was a really fun video to watch. And then she, and then he just ends up being a one. Like what the heck, man? Like she's like I don't mind her, but but I would rather stay stay becoming a man because men like that. Oh, that offensive field. Yeah. So clever, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that's the reason why people say so clever when you do that the metal uh, the vanish uh, skip the uh, switch skip. Yeah, that was so clever. Yeah, uh, uh, it's just funny. I really miss the Glamic. Like, I follow him on Twitch, but all he does is compete games, and he, he never has his microphone on. He, all he has is just computer games. Like, I just feel disappointed because he, like, really summed up the, the SF64 community. Like, like, he just inspired a lot of people to speedrun. He inspired Simply. Like, Simply watched his 12 hour run uh, in 2012 and then he got inspired by that and he got into it. So that's how I simply got into it. She's got inspired by Punkation and Punkation got inspired by Giano, I think. That might have been that's exactly what happened the other stream. That like like a random green shell hits me and I but I fell down though. So How long have you been running SN64 though? I was inspired by cheese. <laughs> and shout out to Simple Clubs, yeah. Uh, slide God. Like I've been I've been 
I mean, oh yeah, you said you you were playing it back in January. Oh yeah, I that. Yeah, January. Yeah, I completely forgot you said that. Like I started back in August or September. That's when I got my first copy of Persona 64, and that was on Wii U Virtual Console, and it sucks on Virtual Console. So, and I eventually got it on emulator, and that's why I'm sticking to it. Yeah, me watching Cheese get the world record with the 139, um, the 139.28 when less than 24 hours it takes the record back from the location. I was just thinking, uh, it just looks so much fun to run the game, so I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack at it, get the copy of SM64, um, and... Uh, so yeah. Someone named. Yeah, I can't really read that with the small text. So. Yeah, cheese. Uh, not only like I first found cheese back in 2016, and he was like a rage monster when I first saw him. But eventually, he's calm. He's a world record holder. He's playing PUBG. Like the the last time he played this was or I think it was back in February. So. I'm being a little patient, but watching him play PUBG is pretty entertaining. I play Fortnite, though. So, like, I play Fortnite, but I've only got the game recently, and I really suck at it. Like, I'm like level 3 or, or something. Because how recent I got it. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that better than that. I don't hit that myself. Uh, yeah. I first saw GDQ back in 2015 when I watched uh, Yoshi Guy 28 or something uh, run Super Mario Galaxy. And um, at first I had no idea what it was and had, had no clue of what the event was. But when I really. I know, checked out other runs, uh, like, what else was there? Super Mario Brothers, uh, like Darbian and Cosmic and Angel Team. Um, I also speedrun that game too. I've got a PB of 513. And, yeah, there was just a lot of things that inspired me to watch EGDQ and SGDQ. Um, like, right now, like, I like got last SGDQ, I was in the Philippines for a school trip. So, and there was not really, there was no really good internet back then, so, um, back there, so, I couldn't really watch it, unfortunately, but luckily there was YouTube and stuff to watch it afterwards. I didn't start to be running until early January uh, last year with Super Mario Brothers and Mario Kart, and I started streaming in April. Like that was like a school project, like it was something called a car design project, which is a year long project. Um, and that's what I that's what I um, picked because you got you got to pick like a project that could definitely that could, that could be something that you could definitely do in the future. And that was and streaming is definitely something I could do in the future. Like I love media, I just love technology. If you want to learn some more bros, but you just wait to learn it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Like, Super Mario Bros. doesn't involve any fun of mashing, button mashing or anything. It just involves timing your jumps and only does a couple of, like, presses. Uh, here and there. Got 
Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Mm. I, don't, I, I don't think I'll be interested in Donkey Kong games. Too. I'm just gonna stay with Mario because I'm um, known for Mario. I love Mario. I've been loving Mario since I was eight years old. Yeah. I'm currently 15, 16 in July, so so uh, yeah. I'm just gonna stay with Mario. Um, I do I do like Need for Speed. Like Need for Speed Most Wanted is my most favorite game because that was the game I started with on the PS2, and I would just. Yeah. And I would just remember Jim being absolutely scared when I get in the pursuit and just getting absolutely excited when I win a race and, and like the first ever time I really finished that game was probably when I was 11 years old. My 40s really good. Yeah, but again, is then you're one one. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, but I can only come down to a few because it's gonna get really complicated if you're planning to like speed around multiple and multiple games. Like even though I'm doing that, but just I need like three games I'm speed running. SMB one, uh Mario 64 and Mario Kart. Those are the games I'm sticking to. Heck yes, let's go. Alright, here we go. Hmm, not too bad. Yeah, <laughs> he runs everything, like Mario 64, Double Gun, Mario Galaxy. He should get into Mario Kart, like Mario Kart's a fun game. Mario Kart 64 seems pretty interesting of a speed game, but it's probably a little too much for me. I, I haven't watched him in a while, like, the best thing he's ever done is do Zero Star at, at SGDQ 2015. Like, they were both playing, like, his, himself and his racer and his other player was planning to do One Star. Um, uh, cool. uh, but he, uh, but he ended up doing Zero Star, which was incredible, and, like, he's, like, the most, he's, at that time, he's, like, the most consistent person for Zero Star. Not true, but it just feels like it when you look back, look at his runs, like... Like, he just yelled when he uh, got the zero star. Um, and the tw 120 star races, Punkation, Cheese, and Simply, they were asked if they could do it by Prism, and they were just like, mm -hmm, no, we can never do that. Like, they don't even like the categories. I find, I find it alright just because of how fast you can finish the game. But to be, not to be able to explore more, not to be able to explore a lot of the game, the zero star and one star, it's just unfortunate. Like, I'm, like I love to explore Mario 64. Like, like Mario like 16 time has a lot of the exploration. Like, we need to explore some of the glitches and stuff. You get, to, you get to explore a little bit, just not as much as them need in 120. So... Give a kick. We haven't been able to get into a block. Speaking of block. I'm a fan of Mario Maker, like, I love making levels, I love playing levels, and I just, I just love, I just love the game of, like, like, 3DS was not good, because the way, the way to send levels is not on. Like, I like, I, I prefer Expert over Super Expert, because it's much, it's easier, and, uh, and also I can never beat Super Expert. <laughs> like, Super Expert No Skips is just crazy. I don't think about it. Yeah. 